you say, Tom? No, Vic, I don't want to get mixed up with anything. Well, look, I tell you, it's a beaut. You won't get in any trouble, believe me. No. Will you listen to Flynn? Listen. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the whole setup. You'll see what I mean. Look, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know anything. I mean it, Vic. You, you do, huh? Yes, I do. Look, there's Marge and a kid. You do what I tell you. You're gonna, you're gonna help me on this, understand? We're ready to roll. I'll give you the details. But right now, you remember one thing. You're in. I'm sorry, kid. You gotta help me this once, just this once. That's all I'll ever ask. Just this once. A little Christmas present for your brother. <laughs> well, the reindeer were a little late, but I did get here. Now, well, let's see what we have here. This is not a jam session. I want you to play right. None of this jazzy stuff. All right, Waldo, all right. For 10 years, I give a Christmas party for the children on the block, and nothing happens. Now I can even get to a rehearsal. My carolers sing like plumbers. My musicians play like it was a Charleston contest. My Sunday Claus comes at rehearsal half hour late. Where have you been, Tom? Did you come, by the way, to North Pole or something? Tom! Pardon me for intruding on your thoughts. I'm sorry, Waldo. I'm sorry. Look at you. Sandy Claus is supposed to be happy. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. I'll go get my suit and then I'll come back later. All right. Now, let's try to have some feeling and some spirit. Remember, this is Christmas. You understand? Everybody around the piano, what's the matter with you? Remember, this is Christmas. We're giving a party for the children in the block, and we want them to feel happy and warm and full of the good season. Now, let's try something more appropriate. Old little town of Bethlehem. That's beautiful. Now, remember, try to sing clear. Strike the words clean, but with sweetness. With sweetness, you understand? It was a chord. I'm sorry. Tell Waldo I'll be right there. Huh? Hey, right, what's the trouble? Trouble? No trouble. Well, what do you mean there's no trouble? You walk in here like you haven't got a friend in the world. What's the matter? Something wrong with the job? No, no, no. Job's fine. Kids take me for real. Nothing wrong with Marge. Nothing wrong with the little girl. No. No, they're both fine. Everything's fine, Johnny. I tell you, everything's fine. Uh, 
Oh, listen. Mr. Cartwright is organizing a new spring tour for his orchestra. Good cities, Boston, Philly. He needs a first oboe. Waldo recommended you. Great. Great! Is that all you can say? Man, I thought you'd flip. You know, you spend 10 years of your life half starving so you can study the oboe. You wash dishes, you run elevators, you play Santa Claus, and man, when the break comes along, all you can do is grunt, Johnny, will you get off my back? I said great. Great. I'm sorry, Johnny. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. My well, Mr. Cotto's little boy has got a bad habit. He pokes his nose in other people's business. I'll see you outside. Johnny. Yeah. Can you keep your mouth shut? Yeah. I can keep my mouth shut. It's Vic. I should have figured that. I thought maybe he could get a straight job. What's he up to this time? I don't know what it is, but he wants me to help him. He wants you to help him? He came by the store this afternoon. I haven't seen him since he got out of prison. He stops by and tells me he and three other guys are planning a job. What kind of a job? He just said it was smooth and it was big. And he started making fun of the Santa Claus suit and all the odd jobs I've been taking. He said I owed it to Marge and the kid to get her a better place to live. Nice things and all that. Oh, Tom, look, you get on the phone right now, you pick up the receiver and you call the police. But he's my brother. We both know he's no good. Look, Johnny, no cops, huh? Well, that's, that's up to you, Tom. Well, anyway, he said he wanted me in as a favor to me. I told him no, and he started to get rough with me. Then he said he needed me for the job. That's what bugs me, Johnny. Why does he have to get me involved? Nobody can involve you, Tom, except you. Now, when he comes to you, you just say no. If I were you, I'd tell him where to get off. I try to tell him that, but all he said was, Tom, do I have a Santa Claus or do I have to wait until next Christmas? Sorry, Waldo. Anything wrong? Yeah, uh, I have a little errand to run. Have Stan sit in for me. Johnny, is it serious? I mean, this is Christmas. Guns and troubles and things like that. They should wait. Yeah, you're right, you know. They should wait. But, unfortunately, sometimes they don't. I like Tom Raff. He played a real cool oboe. Brother Vic was a different story. He'd been playing sour notes ever since he'd been picked up for trying to knock over a candy store at the age of 12. I've gone over the plans for this caper a hundred times. There's no bugs in it. If you're sure about that brother of yours. He'll be okay. Is he clear about the way it all works? He'll be okay now, just leave him to me. All right? Sure, sure, take it easy. I mean, if you say he's okay, well, your word is good. It's just that he's pretty important, you know. I know, I know. Now, is there anything else? No. No, I think it's all set. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, remember, each guy comes in alone. Two minutes apart. Oh, sure. Johnny, good to see you. Come on in. Let me, let me take your coat. No, I, it's all right. Well, sit down and make yourself comfortable. Come on. Uh, I see you already had company. Yeah, a couple of friends dropping. Hey, how about a drink for Christmas, huh? <laughs> I got some, I got some good stuff here. Do you remember the stuff we used to get from Mama Blustery? Remember how she used to say the stuff was imported, imported from the kitchen, maybe, yeah? <laughs> I just came from a talk with your brother, Vic. Yeah, yeah, so? So he told me. What do you, what do you mean? Yes, stupid, Vic. You're a three-time loser. You're a very nosy guy. I don't know what you and Tom were talking about either. This is a friendly visit. You can scram right now. 
We talked about the job, the job that you and whoever else you're working with. Yeah, yeah, we're just, just, pull. just friends. We talked about the job that you're trying to involve Tom. Now listen to me, you. It won't work. No, listen to me. Go ahead. Try it. Go ahead. Try it. Merry Christmas. You leave Tom out of this, Vic. Won't you tell me what to do? He's the only clean thing you've got left. Don't make me cry. I never asked him for a thing up to now. I've done everything all my life. I, I wiped his nose. I, I took care of when the old lady died. I fed him. Fought his fights. I asked him for a favor. What's he do? He squeals to you. He didn't squeal to me. Yeah, he squealed to you. He, he didn't squeal. Well, look, I know you. I came to you because I thought you might have one spark of decency left. Just one little spark. I came to say, leave him alone, Vic. He's making it slow, but he's making it sure. Now you leave him alone, Vic. Okay, Johnny. I'll love her with you. Maybe there is a job. You don't know it, but even if you did, you wouldn't blow the whistle. Don't bank on it. On me, maybe, but not on Tom. So let's be honest. I need this kid. He's in. If you like him, the best thing you can do is pound your piano and forget the whole thing. It's a family matter. You ain't family. Lay off. It's none of your business. All right, maybe it's none of my business, Vic. I just hate to send a next year's Christmas card to Tom and Kara Sing Sing. Merry Christmas. Of course, he might just be paying a Christmas call. To tell you, I saw the kid brother going into Waldo's. The Nostacotic shows up here at Vic's. I don't like it. Yeah? So why don't we have a talk with the kid? Yeah. Yeah, why don't we have a brotherly talk with the kid? Make sure he knows whose side he's on, huh? It's past your bedtime. But I have to say goodnight to your daddy. <laughs> good night, sweetheart. Ah, good night, sweetheart. Will you come in and say good night again when I'm in bed? You bet I will. Okay, ah. off we go. Come on. There we She's in bed and waiting for you. What's the matter, Tom? No, nothing. Nothing. I was just thinking about some things. No, I'll go in and see her. Now, who could that be? the next day, I went to see Tom at the store. It was one day closer to Christmas, one day closer to the presents all the kids were hoping Santa would bring them, and one day closer to the problems that faced this particular Santa Claus. Uh, you don't look too busy. Got time for a smoke? Well, I, I don't know. Come on, I want to talk to you. All right, around here. All right. I can't take long. Yeah, I know. You know, about our talk last night, uh, about Vic, I was just curious. Oh, that? Oh, forget it, Johnny. I didn't mean what I said. You didn't mean what you said? No. No, no, I was way off base. You know, I said if Vic was planning a job. Well, uh, it's not true. It's not true. No. No, no, I just took what he told me all wrong. What's the real story, Tom? 
What do you mean? You say Vic isn't planning to pull a job, right? That's right. Just forget what I told you, will you, Johnny? Should I also forget what Vic told me last night? You talked to him? Yeah, I talked to him. You had no right. Look, who do you think you I are? I think I'm a friend of yours, that's who. Now, why are you lying to me, Tom? Going back to work. Not yet. Don't grab me, John. Please, don't grab me. Well, you level with me then, Tom. Leave me alone. What is it? Did you agree? You agree to go in with those guys? Please go now, Johnny. When did that... When did that happen? Last night. In front of Marge. If I don't play ball, it'll be Marge and the kid. My kid. My baby. See what I mean, Johnny? That's how it is. What do they want you to do? Hide them in here tomorrow night. And after doors are locked... They figured out a way to jump the night guards and then let them loot the jewelry section. All they want me to do is leave them in and then I take off. That's all. That's all? That's enough to make you an accomplice in this thing. Now, look, I, I don't care about your brother. You get on the phone right now and you call the police. Right now. Take another look. If the cops pick up any one of them for questioning, they'd hurt my family just like this. The police will protect you. Sure. Sure, then the three of us would go around wearing beards, hiding in disguise. No, Johnny. No, no. I'm not going to risk that. Tom. Tom, I know you're scared. But you're not the kind of guy to go along with a deal like this, no matter how scared you are. I'd like to think that was true. Right now, I don't think. I just hurt. I hurt real bad. Look, John, you you said you were a friend. We'll prove it. Just get out of here and forget everything I said. You're a friend, Johnny. Go away and forget the whole thing. Well, I went away. And I walked around all afternoon. And into the night. And I still couldn't forget. I couldn't forget that four guys were planning a robbery tomorrow night. I couldn't forget that a good friend would be involved. I didn't have any answers. I didn't know how to stop it. But I couldn't just forget about it. Sorry, Tommy. I can't prove I'm a friend by walking away. But I can do one thing. I can pay back a few bruises. Okay, okay! I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. What's the matter with you? Get up on your feet. You're completely off. Get up on your feet! I'm gonna give you the beating of your game, Tom! I don't want you to talk. Come on and fight me! Come on! Oh, oh. Come on! Get up on your feet! Fight me back! That's more than a chance you gave Tom! I haven't seen Tom since yesterday morning! You're a liar! That's enough! Thanks, Ramsey. This, this guy's completely gone. Stand right there, Vic. Both of you, stand together. What's this, what's this man? He comes with a crazy talk about, about Tom, you come with a gun. This talk wasn't wild, Vic. The boys and I decided last night we should take over the handling of your brother. What's this mean? It means they gave Tom a beating last night. It means they threatened his wife and his little girl. That's what it means. You what? Look, you got no right to hurt my kid brother. I told you I can handle him. Shut up! Now look, we might as well get comfortable. We're gonna be spending a few hours together. You see, Vic, the job's been moved up. It's tonight, not tomorrow night. Right about now, the boys should be calling on your little brother at the store. You shouldn't have pulled a stunt like that. 
You shouldn't hurt my brother. I told you I can handle him. We didn't like your way, Vic. So tonight we're doing it our way. After the boys get what they want, they tap your little brother on the head. And while the cops are busy questioning him, we leave town. No. You wait and see, Vic, huh? No, that was not the deal. Look, my kid brother was supposed to hide us. Then he was to go home. He was not to be blamed. He was not to be hurt. Now you, you, you leave him there for a patsy? Oh, no, this is not the deal. You don't seem to get the idea, Vic. This is a new deal. No. Hold it right there, Vic. Oh! Get, get to the store, will you? I get you to a doctor first. No, get, get him out of there first. Look, I'm okay. I'll, uh, I'll get a doctor now. I'll get, I'll get the police here too. Sure, you're all right? Yeah. Police, police emergency. Come on, will you get the kid out of there before the store closes? Look, I'm all right. I'm all right. Sorry, but the store is about to close. Well, I'm looking for Santa Claus. I'm probably in his dressing room. That's okay, I'm a friend of his. I said it was... Maybe it is. Just keep going, we'll see. Go on. I found one more. Johnny. Is he one of them? No, no, he's a friend. The two others, my brother and another man. We'll wait for him. Never mind. They're not coming. What happened here? I couldn't go through with it. I tipped off the store detectives. Are you sure about those other two? Yeah, I'm sure. You mean Vic backed out too? Yeah. I guess he did the right thing too. kids. He saw Vic in the hospital this morning. They're closer now than they've ever been. Yeah, I was thinking about Vic all day. Maybe if somebody invited him to a party like this when he was a kid, uh, maybe it'd be a different Christmas. Maybe so, Johnny. Thanks. Ah, go on with you, will you? <laughs> Christmas. Merry Christmas, Johnny. Thanks very much for everything. Santa Claus. <laughs> Merry Christmas, John. Waldo, Waldo. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>